another video of um, a review of the Maybelline Color Stay or Super Stay makeup. Um, and this is the foundation that I use every day. And the reason why I wanted to do a review on it is because I have gotten so many compliments. Like, I have really bad acne, and right now the skincare, like the face wash that I'm using, is really helping. But I have never gotten, like, oh my gosh, your face looks so flawless. And I've had, like, five people at my work or Five people just like in general around me just be like, oh my gosh, your face looks so flawless. What are you using? And for me to get that is like, oh my gosh, I better do a review on this. So um, it's a liquid foundation and it says it's a micro flex formula, no transfer, 24 hour wear. And mine is in sand beige and it's by Maybelline. On the back, it says, withstands heat, sweat, and humidity, no transfer, won't rub off, flexible, breathable, all-day comforts, oil-free, non-clogging, non-pore clogging, suitable for all skin types. Um, now, I have tried in the past, I tried the Revlon Color Stay Foundation, and um, I only tried it for one day because the next day I got, like, all these like tiny little bumps inside my skin like bad so um I returned it right away because it definitely made me break out um it wasn't a type of breakout that I was used to so I knew I had it had to have been the Revlon Color Stay Foundation so when I was looking at this I was really scared to use it because before this I don't I don't really use like a a thick consistency foundation like this um, because I'm scared that it would break my face out. Um, I have really sensitive, oily, acne-prone skin. So um, I was definitely scared to use this. Um, but I finally got the courage and I was like, I'm going to try it. And oh my gosh, amazing. For once, like, I, I haven't broken out from it at all. Um, and it is extremely thick. Like, it's a really, really thick consistency um, and basically from using it um, my face it does give me a really flawless look and it's definitely a like a full coverage like not medium at all some people I've heard on some reviews um, have said it's like a medium coverage to me it's a full coverage like it's thick to me um, but I think because I like pat it on too, it might make it more of a thick, uh, full coverage. So, um, other than that, um, another thing too is, um, before I was using, before I started using this, I was using the Maybelline Pure Makeup and it's an H, it's H2O Shine Free Foundation, oil free. And I used this because it was very, very light and it didn't break my skin out. Um. So comparing from these two, um, this, okay, so when I, when I use this, um, my face would, I'd have to blot my face like three times a day. And it wasn't like a normal like shine, you need to blot your face. It was like someone had threw a handful of grease at my face. That's how oily my face would get. Um, also with this. Um, I smile a lot, especially when I'm at work, and, like, halfway through the day, I'd get, like, these, like, creases inside, like, these, like, parenthesis creases right here, and that would suck. <laughs> um, and then, on top of that, it wasn't really a full coverage. So, with this, I get a full, flawless coverage. Um, I only have to blot my face, like, once. And it's not like a greased up, like shiny face. Like I just have like a tint of like shininess that I kind of have to blot away. It's not like how my face normally would get. Um, and I do not get these little parentheses like creases, which I'm so happy about because like I smile like no other. And that's the last thing I want, to be honest. Um, one thing too though with this because it is a thick consistency I do um, put a powder over it to like to finish it off and 
um, make it stay. So um, basically it does withstand sweat like no other because, well, I consider sweat and oiliness like the same thing so hopefully you guys do too. Um, but like sweat as in like my face gets extremely oily throughout the day um, just from the horm my hormones um, and it definitely helps um, the oiliness in my skin. So I would say definitely withstands heat, sweat, and humidity. So, um, no transfer won't rub off. I would say like it's a yes and a no for that. Like it doesn't rub off easily, but I still don't ever put my put myself in a situation that it might rub off. Like I don't touch my face. I don't lean up to anything against my face. Like, I just, I don't do any of that, so I don't really know for sure if it rubs off or not. Um, flexible, breathable, all-day comfort, definitely. Um, it definitely feels comfortable on my face, and um, not to mention, it makes my face look so much better than it normally does. Oil-free, non-pore clogging, definitely, because I haven't broken out from it yet. Um, and... Yeah, that's about it. So definitely, definitely check this out. If you don't like the rev, every, oh, let me see. There we go. Um, if you don't like the Revlon Color Stay Foundation, definitely give this a try. I know a lot of people like it, but um, it, it made me break out. So I tried this and I absolutely love it and I use it every single day. Love it, love it. I just apply it with my hands. Um, one day maybe I'll decide to use a brush, but I just feel like it's easier for me to use my hands. And I just rub it in and pat it on and it works perfect. So check this out and I hope this was helpful to you guys and I will talk to you later. Bye.